I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Sileti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 6.26 from the chapter number 6. The problem is, a digital system has a clock generator that produces pulses at a frequency of 80 megahertz. This is the frequency of the clock signal. Now we have to design a circuit that provides a clock with a cycle time of 50 nanoseconds. Here we are given with a cycle time. Cycle time means it is the time period of the pulses. So we have to now design a circuit that will give this much of cycle time. So for doing this, we can use a 2-bit counter. So how we can use it? So let us see. So here we can use a 2-bit triple counter. So the given frequency of the clock generator is 80 megahertz. So this is given. So we have to design a circuit with a clock cycle of 50 nanosecond. So this is the desired clock cycle. So desired clock frequency, this desired clock frequency is the one divided by this clock cycle. One divided by desired clock cycle. Now we can divide it by 50 nanosecond. Nano means into 10 to the power minus nine. Okay, so one by five into 10 to the power plus eight. Okay, this is hertz. So then we can have one by five is 0 0.2 into 10 to the power eight hertz. So we can write 20 into 10 to the power plus 6 hertz or this is 20 megahertz. Okay, that means the desired clock frequency is 20 megahertz. And we are given with a clock generator of 80 megahertz. That means we have to make this clock generator frequency 20 megahertz. Okay, that means we have to divide this given clock frequency by 4. So here we can use two T flip flops for this design. So suppose this is one T flip flop. Okay, here we have T, here we have Q, and here we have clock input. So this is the second T flip flop. So here we have T input. Here we have suppose this is Q0, this is Q1. Okay, this is T0, T1. Here also we'll have a clock input. So here we'll apply logic one to both these. That means whenever we apply logic 1 at this T inputs of these T flip-flops, this output will toggle whenever we have a clock signal at this input. So here we'll give the clock signal. So this given clock signal frequency is 80 megahertz. Suppose we have a negative edge triggering flip-flop and we will connect the first stage output to the next higher stage clock input. So what will happen? Now let us see. So here we have applied logic 1. Now let us see the respective signals. So suppose here we have this clock. Okay. Suppose here we have this clock. Suppose here we have this clock signal. And here we have made a negative edge triggering. So at this negative edge of this clock, this flip flop output will change. So here we have this negative edge. So here we have already seen that the given frequency is 80 megahertz. We need to find out a clock cycle of 50 nanosecond. This 50 nanosecond, this frequency, this clock frequency will be 20 megahertz. That means we have to divide by 4. Okay, so this is our target. So here we'll see now this Q0 and Q1 pulses. This deep flip flop has logic 1 input. Suppose initially we have reset this flip-flop suppose here we have active low reset inputs here we have reset or clear input so initially we have reset this flip-flop that is initially we have q0 is equal to 0 and q1 is equal to 0 that means here we will have suppose q0 and q1 so what will happen initially we have q0 is 0 till the first clock edge enters so at this negative edge of this clock signal this output will toggle because it is a T flip flop, this output was previously 0, now it will become 1. So it will continue up to the second negative edge. When we have this second negative edge, it will again toggle. So what will happen? We will have again 0. And when we have next negative edge, it will again toggle because continuously it is getting the 80 megahertz signal that is FC. So this clock's frequency is FC. Now at this negative edge, it will again change. Okay, at this negative edge, it will go to 0 again, and at this negative edge, it will go to 1 again, okay, and it will go to 0 again. So, this is the Q0 output. So, this frequency is 
half of the frequency so here you can see that from here to here we have this is 1 by 80 megahertz time period so here we can see that this is twice as the time period of this one okay so this frequency will reduce by 2 here we have frequency fc divided by 2 now let us see this q1 output so initially this q1 output is 0 but at this first clock this will not respond because it is already getting one and no clock signal because whenever we have a change at this clock signal that is whenever it goes to zero that means at this negative edge of this q0 this flip-flop will respond okay because this is also negative edge triggering at this negative edge this flip-flop will respond or it will give the output depending on this input at this negative edge this flip-flop will respond so whenever we have one it will not respond because it is a negative edge triggering so it will remain in the zero state so whenever we have a negative edge here at this input this is a toggle flip-flop this output previous output will change okay so it will go to one level okay and it will continue so here we do not have a negative edge so it will continue up to here so here we have a negative edge again this flip-flop will again toggle this output because we have logic input one so at this negative edge it will again go to zero and it will continue up to here and from here it will again go to one level now we can see that here we have fc by two frequency so here we can see that for q1 we have two clock cycles or two cycles of q0 to complete one cycle of q1 so it will have fc by four frequency so this fc is 80 megahertz so here we have fc by two fc by two is fc is 80 megahertz so it will be 40 megahertz so fc by four so it will be 80 by four so it will be 20 megahertz so this is the required frequency of the clock signal as per the given question so this is the solution of the problem number 6.26 from the chapter number 6 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you